Hi, Steve and Caleb from Brownells, bringing you another edition of Smithbusters. And today, Caleb, you've got something that's been eating away at you. It's been on your mind. I've Go ahead, share. Haven't been able to sleep, Steve. <laughs> I've been losing so much sleep. That's why I look tired. There's bags under my eyes. Who's whatever? I look great. Point your hair is perfect. It is always perfect. Woke up like this. But the today's myth is, it doesn't matter. If your scope's crooked when you mount your optic to your gun. Oh. So Ooh. ask me where this came from, Steve. Where'd it come from? I'm glad you asked. So this one in particular, I was just scrolling through the YouTubes as I do, you know, um, watching videos and following my fellow creators. And there was this one video. I thought it was just a clickbait title. I didn't think he was going to be serious. But uh, it was titled just that. Doesn't matter if your scope's crooked when you mount your scope or something, something along that line. So I'm like, okay, I'll bite. So I clicked on it. I started watching it. And I was waiting the whole time for the video to turn around and be like, oh yeah, it does matter because of these obvious reasons. And it never did. Oh, wow. And I was like, wow, this video sucks. And um, so I just went on with my life. So here we are. So here we, well, not, we're not here yet. Oh. I was just going to let it go and just leave it in the past. But uh, the YouTube algorithm, being what it is, reading minds and infiltrating my soul, um, it started recommending more videos of similar topic to me. And apparently, this is a thing. People actually believe this. So, hey, now you can say it. All right. So, uh, no, here, we, here are. we are. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here so, are. here we I are. forgot my line. Yeah, it, it happens. Let's uh, read the script beforehand. But, uh, yeah, so here we are. All right, so having your crosshairs crooked in relation to your firearm doesn't make any difference? Uh, not according to these, these, these guys. Wow. And, well. You know, some of them are, seem to be kind of reputable. So like it, I would believe other stuff they said, you know? So it's, it's kind of uh, concerning that they're putting this information out. So I think we should address why it does indeed matter. All right. Well, first off, I'm going to assume that they do not shoot ultra long range. Yeah, obviously we can rule that out. Right, because if your scope is not centered and aligned with the with a firearm properly, in other words, level crosshairs, level gun, mm -hmm. totally in line, um, you're going to start to meander down range. Right. So your scope, as you all very well know you have a windage adjustment and an elevation adjustment and there's no turret caps for diagonal adjustments no there's as not far as, as far as i'm aware of <laughs> there's not um so if your scope reticle is a little bit crooked what are you going to do to uh well actually let me back up let me let me give their up. reasoning first and then we'll bust it okay so their reasoning is that if your reticle is a little bit crooked, or if you if you level your reticle to your gun, whenever you put it up to your shoulder, sometimes it may look a little crooked, which is true for some people. That's because you're not holding the gun straight. Um, so their theory is that you put the gun on your shoulder, how you would normally hold it, then you level the reticle to how you hold the gun, and then now Oh, everything's level. That's the snowflake approach. Everybody's yeah. got a different level. So now you think it's it looks level to you, so now you're going to oh. shoot level. But that's not the case. That's not at all the case. the case. So naturally what you're going to want to do whenever you're looking through your scope or looking at a target, you're going to want to align the crosshairs to the horizon. That's just kind of what we do naturally when we're shooting. Everyone's eye kind of does that. Um, so... If your scope is not level to your firearm, what's going to happen is whenever you tilt your gun slightly to, uh, to level those crosshairs to the horizon or what, whenever you perceive it as level, your gun's actually crooked. And if your gun's crooked, if your gun's canted one way or the other, your scope is now not directly aligned over your bore because it's sitting off the top of the receiver. You have that mechanical offset. So now you have your bore here and your scope here, and now they look kind of like this or kind of like this. So whenever- They are crossing. They are crossing. So now that you've zeroed your rifle like this, yes, they will intersect at the same point, 
but only at one distance. So now instead of having to, uh, let's say you're shooting, you zeroed at 100 yards and you're shooting 300 yards. Okay, so now uh, with a level crosshair, all you have to do is aim a little bit higher, assuming there's no wind right now. All you have to do is aim a little bit higher, higher and your bullet will intersect and hit that target. But if you're doing the same thing with a crooked crosshair, you now have to aim higher and either to the left or right because your your scope is depending on which way you're canting the from gun. The gun, yeah. So you could yeah. because you're canting the gun. So instead of just having to compensate for elevation, you now have to compensate for an imaginary windage that doesn't exist because the offset's crooked. So right. Because instead of your bore and your your line of sight being parallel, mm -hmm. they are now diverging or converging, depending on how you want to look at it. Yep. And the like on an AR-15, your AR-15 mounts are higher, so you have a higher mechanical offset here. That is going to be that's going to make the that difference even more dramatic. It's going to be even more even further off than something uh, like this here, where you have your optic mounted closer to the bore line. Right. Uh, you're not going to be able to notice it as much, but it's still going to be it's still going to offset. Now, if you're shooting rapid fire at close distance, multiple targets, yeah, doesn't yeah. make any difference. Yeah, make the gun do. comfortable any way you like. You know, if, it, sure. if you want to cant the gun and have your reticle level, it doesn't make any difference. But once you get out to long range, then your windage starts to go screwy. Yeah. So don't don't tell your optic how to hold your rifle. Hold your rifle. You you need to teach yourself how to hold your rifle correctly. Don't hold your rifle wrong and think you can adjust your optic to that, if that makes sense. Well, sort of. Yeah. So just hold your optic or hold your rifle correctly and have a accurate optic. I don't and know. it's on an AR platform it's even more pronounced because the distance between right. your line of sight and the bore, you know, compared to something that's mounted lower like this bolt action gun. It's yeah, and I mean yeah, so Using math and science and lines and x y axis stuff, we yeah we just uh, we just busted it using that. Yep. There's a reason that people who have to hit small targets at long range have everything leveled out with each other. That's why you see them with line. bubble levels on their scopes. You you can be sure that those optics are definitely level, and they're trying to keep everything level while they make those shots right. because it matters. So that myth that it doesn't matter uh, unless you're shooting really close, uh, it's pretty much busted. It's definitely busted. I can sleep now that we made this video. All right. Well, uh, how about you? Do you shoot with your crosshairs crooked, or do you line them up with levels and do it by the book? Uh, what do you think? You basically just ask if you're right or wrong. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. No, let us know in the comments down below. Yeah, we'd be glad to hear from you. In the meantime, hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time when we bring you another episode of Smithbusters.